thanks, Mary. There's my sweater. I knew we left it somewhere. Hiya, Boo. Hi. Mary. Yes, sir. Where have you been? At lunch. Uh-huh. And what time did you leave? Uh, 12. All right. And what time is it now? 12.55. Uh-huh. And I suppose you usually take 55 minutes for lunch? Uh, no, Mr. Grant. I usually take an hour. Even when it's Friday and you still don't have a guest for Sunday's Face the People show? How do you know she doesn't, Lou? Does she? I don't know. Why don't you ask her? <laughs> well, no, Mr. Grant, I don't. Good. But... Because there's this new city councilman, Pete Peterson. His office has been bugging me to get him on the show. What do you know about him? He's really cute. Oh. <laughs> if I wanted cute, I'd get Hubert Humphrey. <laughs> See what we got on him. Yes, sir. Hey, Lou. Uh, I voted for Peterson, if that's any help. Mm. He's 35, single, sandy hair. Who didn't vote for him? Rhoda, it's one o'clock. Isn't yeah. your lunch hour over? Oh, no, my boss doesn't care if I'm a little late. I care. <laughs> Mary, I think I better get going. I just remembered there's this boss who hates it when I'm late. Yours. Bye-bye. <laughs> See you tonight. Bye, Rhoda. Oh, hiya, Rita. Way to go, champ. <laughs> so what'd you find on him? Well, not too much. Well, look, why don't you go down to Peterson's office and check him out? See if he'd be any good on the show. Pete Peterson, the new city councilman? You actually know the name of an elected official? <laughs> Absolutely. Voted for him. Man's got a great think tank. Oh. What's the matter? You and I voted for the same man. <laughs> I met a party before the election. Pressed me so much, I not only voted for him, I campaigned for him. Peterson's my kind of man. I'll, uh, check him out. Twice. Right. <laughs> Peterson's office, can I help you? You're calling for a job? Well, we don't have any jobs. Oh, yes, I know. The councilman talked a lot during the campaign about finding people jobs. But what he meant was he would try and create new jobs in this district. No, he hasn't. <laughs> no, he's only been in office two weeks. Uh, what sort of work do you do? You were a Viking? Oh, a Minnesota Viking. Oh, I'm sorry you pulled your hamstring. Um, well, look, do you know how to do anything else? I mean, do you have any special skills? You can drive a car. <laughs> well, terrific. Look, I'll keep my ears open, and if any car driving jobs come up, I'll call you. What's your number? Got it. 87? I bet you get a lot of crazy phone calls here, huh? That was a good one. Oh. Hi, I'm Chris Wilson. I'm Mary Richards. Can I help you with something? Oh, well, yes. I'm from WJM-TV, and I'm here about Face the People. What's that? Oh, well, it's a show we do on Sunday afternoons where a political figure uh, answers questions from the audience. Hard questions? <laughs> well, yeah, I guess you'd uh, call them hard uh, questions. <laughs> well, I certainly hope you find somebody. <laughs> well, actually, uh, somebody from your office called us about Mr. Peterson being on the show. I can guarantee you no one from this office would make that call. I did. No. Well, you know how he's always talking about getting himself across to the people? And I thought this would be a way. I mentioned it to Pete, and he said he thought it was a great idea. Okay, girls, on our way. Oh, hi. I'm a Pete Peterson. Am I uh, your councilman? Oh, uh, well, yes and no. Pardon? Well, see, I live in your district, uh, but I didn't uh, vote for you. Gee, that's swell. You didn't vote for me, and you came to me for help, right? Uh, no. Yeah, good. I bet I get your vote next time. Uh, Come on, Pete. We'll be late for the mayor. Excuse me. Oh, uh, uh, Mr. Peterson, I almost forgot. That man from Urban Renewal called this morning. Mm -hmm. He'll be in from Washington next week to look at the slum area. Walter, couldn't we get that slum area cleaned up before he gets here? I mean, it's really a sight. Pete. <laughs> If we cover up the slum, we might not qualify for the loan. Good thinking. Leave it the way it is. No. Uh, Mr. Peterson, it's the mayor's office. Ah, mayor. The mayor. <laughs> Think of my office. Maybe. 
Benjamin Peterson isn't quite ready for your show after all. Oh, what show? Uh, Face the People. Face the People? Hmm, sounds good. Is that one of those game shows? Oh, no, no, it's a political question and answer show. Hard questions? Uh, yeah, I guess you'd uh, call them hard uh, questions. Oh, uh, I'm afraid the councilman is much too busy. Oh, but uh, even on Sunday? Oh, yes, he has to go to church. <laughs> well, uh, listen, we can tape the show at his convenience. Well, once the councilman gets into church, it's hard to get him out. But uh, thanks for thinking of us anyway. That was really the mayor. <laughs> call me Pete. Yeah, yeah. Want to know what I thought about the uh, teacher strike? Want to know what I told him? Uh, no, why don't you tell me in the car? Wait, wait, I might forget. I told him I thought the teachers had every right to go on strike. As long as they didn't miss any classes. <laughs> well, uh, what did you want to see me about? Oh, well, I uh, <clears throat> just um, dro uh, dropped by to, uh, you know, say hi. <laughs> Would you like a bumper sticker? <laughs> No, thanks. I walked. Gee, that's terrific. I mean, that's really terrific. Uh, girls, will you do me a favor? Uh, will you get some people in here? I like lots of complaints. Walter! <laughs> what he means when he says he wants more complaints is... <sighs> oh. <laughs> Mary? Yes, sir? Did you check out Peterson? Oh, yes, I did, Mr. Grant, and he just, he wouldn't be right for the show. Mary, the show is just two days away. I, I know that, and I am working on getting somebody else. As a matter of fact, I expect a confirmation call any second. Yeah. Huh? Newsroom? Yes, sir, uh, just a moment, please. Uh, Mr. Grant, it's for you, the station manager, and he says it's important. Of course it's important. You expect him to say, put Lou on the phone? It's trivial? <laughs> Newsroom, speaking. He can? Really? Oh, hey, that's great. Okay, I'll call you later and I'll give you all the details then. And listen, thanks again. Right, bye-bye. Murray, guess who I got to be on Face the People? The chief of police. The chief of police. <laughs> How did you know? They called while you were out. Hey, listen, uh, you said you voted for Peterson, didn't you? Yeah. You mind my asking why? Sure. He was a mo. A mo? Yeah. Well, uh, what, what's a mo? Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. And that's how you vote? Well, not for the president or senators, but with councilmen, municipal judges, and sewer bonds, I vote the straight mo ticket. <laughs> well, I think you made a mistake in Peterson's case. Why? He's definitely an eeny. Mm. <laughs> Harry, can you come in here a minute? Yes, sir? Mary, uh, about face the people. Ah, Mr. Grant, don't worry. I got the chief of police. Really? Hmm? What? Well, that's good work, Mary. <laughs> How definite is he? Oh, it's all set. No kidding. Hey, he certainly be a good guest. Well done. Thank you. Bump him. <laughs> B bump him? Mm. Off, off the show? Mm. Mr. Grant, why? I mean, after all that uh, trouble... Because Councilman Peterson's going to be our guest. Peterson? But, mm -hmm. Mr. Grant, I told you... And the station manager just told me that Councilman Peterson would be an excellent guest. But he wouldn't. But that doesn't matter, Mary. <laughs> what matters is that Councilman Peterson and the station manager go fishing together. Need I say more? Yes, because Peterson just would not be a good mm -hmm. guest. I mean, he isn't ready. Mm -hmm. The station manager ought to trust my judgment. I mean, I am the associate producer on the show, you know. <laughs> Maybe if I went to him and talked to him, I could get Mary. him to change his... M How do you bump a chief of police? Gently. <laughs> Councilman Peterson's office. No, no, I don't think I did speak to you before. You must have spoken to Chris. Who's calling, please? Uh, just a moment. Chris? 
There's a Mack truck Tarkus on the phone. That must be my Viking. Thank you. Hiya, truck. No, no jobs yet, but I'm still looking. Hey, listen, you said you could drive. How about a cab? You can't shift? <laughs> yeah, well, I guess that does kind of narrow things down a bit. W why did you give me your number? Thank you. Now, may I have your telephone number, please? <laughs> okay, I'll call you if anything comes up. Bye. So then, what are you going to do tonight? Oh, I'll either go out with a fantastic man to dinner and a movie, or if I don't meet one, I'll just go home and clean the oven. <laughs> Listen, why don't you come over to my house for dinner tonight? Oh, I don't think I'd better. Oh, come on, my mom would just love to meet you. Why don't you? Oh, I'm just more work for your mother. I'm an extra place at the table. I'm another dish to wash. I'm white. <laughs> Don't let that bother you, baby. Half the people in my neighborhood are white. <laughs> Used to be all the people were white. <laughs> Hi. 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 Oh, no. It's going to be on the show, right? Yeah. Listen, I tried, but apparently he's determined to be on. I, he knows my boss is boss, so he's on, and uh, I'm sorry. This Sunday? Well, listen, maybe Pete will surprise you. <laughs> well, I mean, he, cer he certainly looks smart, you know, e even if he... Uh, you know, not that many people watch the show. <laughs> says he has to bomb. I mean, we've got two days. If we work on him tonight and tomorrow and feed him all the answers to every possible question, he just might really be great. Well, listen, it's worth a try. Isn't it, Chris? As Pete would say, when your ship is sinking and you're treading water, if somebody throws you an anchor, grab it. <laughs> not a party. I just wanted you to help me ask the councilman some questions. I'm gonna ask that councilman a question. <laughs> that's why I'm dressed like this. Well, don't you think that's a little special? Mary, listen, I guarantee you, when Joan Kennedy met Teddy, she was not wearing a sweatshirt. Uh, maybe she was. What? Well, I think they met playing touch football. <laughs> kidding. Listen, uh, I'll be back. Uh, hey, who else is coming? Oh, uh, just the councilman's staff. Oh, yeah, girl staff or men staff? Girl staff. Terrific. Hello? Ah, hi. Jennifer Riley, this is Rhoda Morgenstern. Hi, what a great looking gown. Where are you going? <laughs> to change, excuse me. <laughs> Come on in. Okay. Coffee's ready. Great. Gee, this is a nice place. Thank you. Pete will be here in a minute if he doesn't get lost. He does that a lot. <laughs> you know, I've been meaning to ask you, how did you happen to go to work for him? Well, I just got tired of being an airline reservations clerk. Oh, is that what you were? Yeah, well, I really wanted to be a stewardess, but that's another story. <laughs> anyway, I decided I wanted to work in government. So I sent out two dozen letters offering my services to various politicians. Huh? And I got back 23 mimeographed acceptances and one badly typed five-page letter, postage due. Oh. Hey. So I went where I was needed. Oh. Well, listen, he must have some good qualities. I mean, enough people voted for him to get him elected. Well, maybe everybody just wanted to help him. Ah, Chris. Hello, Mary. Hi. I want you to meet my mom, Mrs. Wilson, Mary Richards. How do you do? Hi. Hi, Chris. Hi, Mrs. Wilson. Did I thank you enough for that wonderful dinner last night? Well, there was that half hour at the door, and if that wasn't enough, the two phone calls and the flowers were plenty. <laughs> I hope you don't mind my bringing Mom along. No. <laughs> but my brother took the car, so Mama had to bring me over on the bus. Y your mother had to bring you? I can't drive that bus. 
You, you drive a bus? Yeah, the Mount Bethany Sunday School bus. Oh, well, listen, sit down, please. Oh, thank you. Now, don't worry about me. I will just sit here and knit. Okay. Would you like some coffee? Thank you. Cream of sugar, please. Right. Oh, I'll get that for you in just a second. Hello, Mary. <laughs> so where is he? He isn't here yet. And what are you wearing? You don't like it, huh? Then you're gonna hate this. Uh, <laughs> everybody, I would like you to meet my friend Rhoda Morgenstern of the Sense of Humor. Hi, all. Hi, everyone. Hi. <laughs> hey, they're terrific. <laughs> yeah, having a great year. Oh, uh, about the same as last. Uh, oh, you mean the Vikings? Yeah. <laughs> My favorite football team. <laughs> yes, mine too. Uh, Rhoda Morgan's turn here. Uh, Pete Peterson. Ah, uh, yes, I Well, did. I made it. Listen, uh, I knew there was something about you I liked. Ah, oh, what's that? <laughs> You're wearing a yarmulke. A yarmulke? <laughs> oh, the beanie. Oh. <laughs> Well, I just came from a bar mitzvah. It's very interesting. It's a Jewish ceremony. It's yeah, very, I know. very nice. I heard. Yeah, yes. it's a young boy. My brother, I know. I'm, I'm familiar, familiar with you. Yeah, it's very nice. But listen, uh, before we get started, would anyone else like some coffee? Oh, I don't drink. Oh. <laughs> well, then, why don't we all sit down? Yeah, I'm in kind of hurry. At uh, 9 o'clock, I have to open up the new rec room at the Scandinavian Singles Club. Oh, uh, Mary, I'd like some coffee. Coffee. Pete, I want you to meet my mom, Mrs. Wilson. Ah. Uh, how do you do? I voted for you. Thank you. Did? Uh, <laughs> uh, Mrs. Wilson, uh, what is it about my campaign that appealed to you? Well, the other guy wore a beard, and you didn't. I don't trust a politician with a beard. <laughs> I suppose you wouldn't have voted for Abraham Lincoln. Of course not. He was a Republican. <laughs> Councilman doesn't have a lot of time, so why don't we get right down to business? Uh, Mary, uh, why don't you brief him? Okay, uh, it's a half-hour show. Uh, there's a moderator, Ted Baxter. Oh, I know Ted. Bright guy. <laughs> anyway, uh, people come up from the audience and stand in front of the microphone and ask you questions. Sounds fine to me. Uh-huh. Of course, you realize the answers to the questions are very important. Absolutely. I think people have the right to expect answers to their questions. Um, perhaps we might discuss what some of the questions might be. Mm -hmm. I've got a question. Uh, Rhoda, <laughs> Councilman, do you intend to marry? As a matter of fact, I do, uh, June the 6th. You're engaged? Mm -hmm. Would you like to see your pictures? Here they are right here. <sighs> You're going to marry Gail Storm? <laughs> Oh, that came with the wallet. There we are. <laughs> uh, you know, Councilman, you never mentioned a word during your entire campaign about being engaged. Uh, I never had anybody ask me that and uh, get mad before. Generally, I get mad about garbage pickup and stuff like that. What about garbage pickup? I'm for it. You mean <laughs> you're for a balanced program of waste disposal that is compatible with the ecology. Isn't that what you mean? What do you mean, isn't that what I mean? She means that's how you might answer that question tomorrow. Oh, I don't know. I don't know if ecology isn't something that just sounds good now, but in the future, we may be sorry we got into it, like Vietnam. About your engagement. Congratulations. I think we should go over that garbage pickup question again. What do you mean, go over it? I just answered it. But don't you think it would be better if you said something a little more uh, scientific Wait or something? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Now, what, what's going on here? Oh, we're just trying to think of questions that you might be asked so you could have some answers. Oh, I don't think we should go into this having any of the answers. Yeah, but it, all politicians are briefed and, and prepared. That's the trouble with politics. I mean, everyone has pat answers to all the questions. I mean, I want the people to know that I don't have any answers. <laughs> Uh, what are you making, Mrs. Wilson? I am knitting you a beard. <laughs> Mr. Peterson, what are your feelings about having a woman run for mayor? Uh, well, I'd like to see a woman's name on the, uh, on the ballot next year. But would you vote for her? Well, it depends on if I thought she was the, uh, 
best candidate. And her being a woman wouldn't prejudice you. I don't vote for race, color, creed, or sex. I vote for the man. <laughs> well said, Councilman. Thank you. We'll be right back with more Face the People right after this brief announcement. He kind of makes you wonder if Ted isn't a ventriloquist. <laughs> Oh, hey, great. Look, the baseball game's gone into extra innings. Well, then, hey, maybe <clears throat> nobody is watching my show. It looks like it's going to be another hot summer, Councilman. What are the kids who live in the inner city going to do for recreation? Well, they could uh, go swimming, couldn't they? That sounds like a lot of fun. <laughs> Mr. Peterson, there are no swimming pools in that area. Ah. Well, uh, what did they do last summer? Occasionally, they'd open the fire hydrants, but there aren't enough of those. Well, the answer seems fairly simple. Uh, put in more fire hydrants. <laughs> Good thinking, Pete. Oh, I, I'm sorry. I'm supposed to be partial. <laughs> I see our time is up, and I want to take this time to thank Councilman Peterson for having the courage to come here this afternoon and face the people. <laughs> Well, that's that. Uh, I, I don't know what to say. You've already said it. He's an eeny. <laughs> hey, I thought it went great, did you, Walter? <laughs> no, it didn't go great. It went horrible. Horrible? Did you think it went horrible, Ted? Oh, no, I thought it was one of the best shows I've ever done. <laughs> You're that, and he's a professional. Thank you. Hey, <laughs> being out there in front of that live TV audience, finding out I had ability to make people laugh? Isn't it a great feeling? <laughs> well, uh, Ted and I are going to go and chew the old fat. Uh, we'll see you later, okay? Say, listen, we get a chance to talk about foreign affairs. Did you see the Bob Hope Christmas show? <laughs> oh, boy, was that fantastic. Huh? Boy, that harmony's something. Har Harmon? Killebrew. He hit a home run with two men on in the bottom of the 11. The Twins won. Mr. Grant, you, you mean that you were, were watching the ball game? Well, who wasn't? How'd you guys do? Oh. Uh, what? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no truck, nothing yet, but I'm still looking. Hiya. Okay. Ready for lunch? Hi, Mary. Uh, we can go in a minute. Chris. Oh, Mary, I was, uh, I was just going to call you. I uh, thought maybe I could uh, do your show again. Oh, uh, well, listen, we, uh, we have a policy. Uh, you see, the same guest can't be on more than once in a year. It's dumb, I know, but... Yeah. Uh, it's uh, too bad. I really felt TV was my meat. Well, I have to go and make a speech I haven't written it yet. I uh, generally write my car, but the last time I tried to think of a speech in my car, I got lost. Uh, you know my car keys? I put them in your coat. Oh, my coat. Uh, my coat. Your coat's in your office. My, my coat's in my office. That's... You know what you need? What's a driver. Then you could write your speeches in your car and not get lost. That's a good idea. Remind me to find one, okay? Pete, your car, is it stick shift or automatic? Uh, automatic. I've got just the guy for you. Oh, you'll like him, too. He's a Viking. Good. A link to another minority. 